Don't forget, if you like art and you want to show it, uh, pick up a Halloween drawing sticker. Uh, these are only going to be around till October 31st, 2022. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to take them away forever. Uh, so pick one up before then. I put these on water bottles. I put these on, you know, on my laptop. I put them all over the place. Uh, but definitely pick one up if you like showing your spirit. Anyways, let's get back. Hey there. Let's go over how to draw a ghost with glasses. It's going to be very, very easy and simple and for beginners, okay? So it's going to be real short. So let's just hop right into this. I'm going to go right here. First thing I'm going to do is draw the glasses. I think it's going to be the easiest thing. Draw a straight line across a little bit. Well, actually all the way across. Okay, that's going to be for the front of the glasses. Going to angle downward back. Kind of the, you know, the part that hangs over the ear. Curve. Just going to throw a curve here. Going to go over here back to this end and I'm going to pull a line downward. Kind of the rim of the glasses. Pull in just a bit. Curve underneath, line across just a little bit again, and curve underneath like a U shape. All right, now I'm gonna go over here and pull the line back. Sweet, and I'm gonna fill that full shape in. So let's fill that entire thing in. Marker's dying a little bit. Uh, let me get a different marker here just to fill that in. Hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, let me know what you guys are going to wear for Halloween. I am going to be a vampire, I think, this year. I think that's what I'm going to be. Not sure yet, but I think that's what I'm leaning toward. Let me know what you guys are doing. All right. So we got the glasses down, right? Now, we're gonna draw the ghost inside of it. So I'm gonna go over here. Curve right here for the top of the head. I'm gonna go over here to this side and I'm gonna pull the line down. And I'm gonna go over here to the front and I'm gonna pull the line down. Gonna throw another line separated outward here so that you know the kind of the waviness of it comes out. Over here. Line over here. Curve. I'm gonna fill in the rest of this glass it's over here. I kinda left it there for a shine, but to be honest, I'm just gonna fill that in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. It doesn't only just subscribe you for this year, it subscribes you for next year. So if you want to, we are the largest collection of Halloween drawing tutorials, like Halloween drawing, you know, lessons. We are the largest source of that on YouTube. So hit the, hit the subscribe, click the bell notification. It's going to show you videos when we post. I only post seasonally. So over here and pick up a sticker for God's sake, pick up a sticker. That is absolute uh, a must. Go take a look at that uh, link in the description for the sticker. So it's kind of wavy right there. Line right here. Line right here. So I drew these folding lines and they're not connect. This one's one line, but this one doesn't connect, right? Because you want to make it look a little natural. <sighs> Just like a little, uh, a little different there. Line over here, and you can always draw a little bit more over here. But I think it gives it some direction to have it more in the back here, so it looks like he's moving forward. Right, and these folds are just kind of like falling down gradually. Um, you can always do this other thing which I've talked about is draw like a shadow on the ground right there Just draw a shadow on the ground and then uh, let me fill it in 
That's gonna really make it look like, you know, he's floating right there. Because before that, you kind of, your mind's eye ends right there, but if you do this, it's like, oh, okay, cool. Like, you know, you know it looks like he's actually flying, um, you know, gliding, whatever ghosts do. But, uh, yeah. I appreciate it. You guys are fun. Um, if there's any tutorial that you want on here, there's a tutorials on everything Halloween related. But if there's something missing, let me know. I'm totally going to do it, okay? Just, you have to let me know though. And I will make it happen. Alright. What else could we add to this? Probably very little. Uh, if you really want, you can add maybe a little bit of a background if you want. Like, let's just say there's some grass in the back. Right? So really uh, kind of also give it a little bit more background and, and uh, anything like that. Um, this is all bonus, of course, but what else could you add? Maybe a line right here coming from you know that area where it's scrunched against showing the tension of the fold it's possible you could draw like a moon over here as well in the background right with some uh, clouds around it clouds look kinda smoky it's just a kinda good look I think for Halloween those smoky style looking clouds um, you can maybe come out here at the other end, same thing. If you want to learn how to draw anything, go check out the main site at sketchingeasy.com. That is, there's pretty much lessons on everything. Just go take a look at that. There's a lot there. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate it. If there's anything else you want to do, let me know. Let's draw a little more clouds here. But yeah, like I said, there, there's so much that you can make up on the background for the season of Halloween. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm going to put a print up, I think. I'm not sure yet. Or a sticker of a um, dinosaur as Jason Voorhees. But I'll put that up later. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Again, if you want to reach out, feel free to reach out. I'm very easy to reach. Um, there's less I have lessons on here. I want everybody to get better talk to you later, and I'll see you very soon